Okay, well, we're going to get started shortly. So we'd just like to thank everyone for joining us today. I hope everyone's been having a great summer. Hope you had some time off, spend it with your family. So we will kick off our summer release webinar on our finance and access management solutions. So I'll introduce myself. I think a few people are going to keep joining. So my name is Olivia. I'm a product marketing manager here at Amelia, and I've been here for two years now. I've done a handful of these webinars, so you may recognize me or sometimes people have seen my name pop up in a few messages. So um, happy to happy to have you all here today. And I'll introduce Max, who's my my coworker. So Max, would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, everyone. Maxim, uh, uh, I've been at I mean, yeah, for almost a year, so it's uh, time is flying here. Uh, really, really happy to be here and uh, present to you a couple of those great solutions. Awesome. Okay, so before we start, um, I'd like to go over a couple of things. So first, as always, we are recording the webinar and it will be sent to you in a follow-up email after our time together today. Um, so this follow-up email will include the recording and any unanswered questions, and then, of course, some useful resources from our help center. And lastly, we encourage you to ask as many questions as you have. Um, feel free to drop it in the chat in the uh, Q&A box, and I'll show you where that is in just a moment. Great. Okay, so at the bottom of your screen, you can see both the chat and the Q&A option. So the chat feature on the left is where you can say hello to other panelists and other attendees. And on the right, you'll also notice the Q&A section. And this is where you can type in your questions and then we'll do our best to answer them live. And then if not, those answers will be in the follow-up email that I just mentioned. So also feel feel free to uh, use the chat and react with emojis as much as you want. We love that interaction. We love knowing how you're feeling. So. Feel free to just chat away. It's there. It's there for that. Now, here's our agenda for today. Um, so we're going to kick it off with the accounting solution, and then we'll introduce the access management solution, a quick Q&A, and then we'll share the relevant resources for you to help you out today. And I'm passing it off to Max. Thanks, Olivia. Hi, again, everyone. So uh, today is the moment where we present our what we called our accounting solution uh along with the uh, one major new feature i would say uh there you go so our accounting solution is made of these four pillars uh so you see we have reports 25 of them to be uh, exact we have our journal entry solution uh it's a report itself but it's kind of a special one so that's that's a that's a big one that's brand new uh for a lot of you um payment action center which is also um not new but a great great one and our double entry accounting system which is kind of a pillar across the board uh, our solution gives you everything you need to reconcile any transaction we made it so you can do your daily weekly monthly and even annual uh reconciliation um we are easy to find templates uh, easy to find reports and more uh we also made our reports to be extremely easy to export and uh, so you can maintain your gl you know um, all the accountants have their own software on the side, so we want to make sure our reports are easy to export. And we want the data to be as reliable as possible with our uh, double entry accounting system, ledger code attached to every transaction, etc. And next slide. Yeah, so our uh, reports, uh, this is really a key, pillar, key core pillar for our, our accounting solution. It's been in SmartRec for a couple of years, but it has constantly be improved, updated, uh, listening to our customer feedback. Uh, we have 25 reports helping you find any financial information you may need. We know sometimes reconciliation gets a little tricky and that's why we've built all these reports. Um, if you, you're familiar with the section, you know we have uh, most of them. So account, accounts receivable, deferred revenue deposit, payment captures, payment types, refund, and really a lot more. Uh, what's really cool is that we have a team that's dedicated to our reports. So every day uh, we have people working on them, improving them, uh, listening to our customers' feedback to make them better, maybe creating new ones, maybe merging some, uh, maybe adding a column here and there. So really uh, our reports are constantly improving for, uh, for you. Um, you being our customers, if you have any feedback, questions on the report, it's also uh, you know our, our support team um, 
we'll, we'll definitely transfer your feedback to the, the, the dev team. So feel free to, to transfer your, your feedback if there's anything, but our reports are right there and they're a key pillar. On top right of the screen, if you looked, um, it says accrual accounting and one of them report, uh, thank you, was called journal entry. Uh, so we're, imagine we're clicking on this one right now. So we're going into journal entry, um, which might not be activated for you yet, but it's, it's as we speak, it's rolling in. Um, Yeah. Next. So Olivia, if you want to switch slides, thank you. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> so journal entries, uh, that is one of our brand new reports. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, we, we rolled it out uh, to a lot of you already, but we are rolling it out as we speak. So you might get it today, tomorrow, or next week, but it's, it's really coming. Uh, this is something we're really proud of. And as you can see, this is a live report. This is on the screen in SmartRec. If you click on your journal entries, do you really get to see uh, your latest transaction? You can search them. As you can see at top, uh, search by account ID. Uh, so there's many ways to find the information you may need. We have filter helping you uh, find the exact transactions you may need. So this is super useful for a front desk uh, person. For example, on the phone, you wanna verify something or maybe uh, in management or accounting, you wanna verify something quickly, you can do it through the journal entry reports. But also, as you can see on the top uh, right of your screen, there's a download thing. So um, what we found is that a lot of our customers have been downloading this report as a monthly um, monthly recap, recap of their uh, finances and exporting it into their uh, general ledger. So that has been uh, pretty, effective for a lot of our users and hopefully will be effective for you. Uh, what's really interesting about our journal entry is that it's uh, SmartRec really is uh, the only software in our industry to offer uh, journal entry using a double entry accounting. So every debit, every credit uh, has to be recorded, which means it's extremely reliable. Uh, and it's also um, extremely precise, giving us um, all we need to, to do proper uh, deferred revenue. That means this, this is perfect for accrual accounting, but if you don't use accrual accounting, which is the case for a lot of you, uh, it has been proven to be useful for uh, all, uh, all types of accountants, even though it is extremely uh, well made for accrual accounting. Um, so still something worth uh, checking out, even if you don't use accrual. So as I said, uh, Amelia defers activity revenue for each occurrence is that the activity recognizing revenue proportionally for each occurrence. So think multi-passes, think uh, payments uh, across multiple months, uh, multiple activities. So uh, it gives the most accurate, most accurate and real-time view of your finances, really helps uh, with payment reconciliation, the invoices, and frankly removes uh, a lot of the manual work that comes with sometimes human error. So um, this is good. This is a journal entry. This is, uh, this is brand new for a lot of you. And we really hope you will uh, go check it out, go discover it. It is good for your accountants on, on your team, but also can have uh, other uses for uh, multiple uh, people on your staff. Um, next slide is uh, just a couple of quotes from users. Uh, we have uh, tried it. Uh, we, we were just excited to see their, their excitement, so we wanted to share it with you. Uh, one of our uh, accountants, uh, one of our customers says that he, Miguel, says that he can run the report for the month. Boom, there it is. Easy to import in my system. Simplicity is the word. So um, one of the uh, things he does is the monthly uh, bank account reconciliation and just like really tracking every single uh, transaction happening in SmartRec. He uh, downloads that and uh, put it in his, in his general ledger. So super useful for, for Miguel here. Uh, Nicole uh, from another account said that she uh, can't think of other systems that have actually tracked that. I would never anticipate a software company to even have that built in. I wouldn't even think to, to ask. So it's that powerful. And yeah, we're excited for you to check it out. So please uh, make sure it's, uh, it's in your report section. If it's not, uh, feel free to reach out to, to our support team. They are uh, able to quickly activate it for your account. So uh, if it's not already in there as we speak. Last but not least, uh, it's uh, one of our, my favorite payment action center. Uh, it's designed to streamline your payment processes, saving you time and money. So uh, if you don't use it, maybe you should start using it right now. This is uh, really great. 
Uh, as you can see on the top right, uh, what it does is that it helps you uh, track failed payments on your behalf and give you a suite of options to recover those funds. Uh, whether it's a transaction that has not worked, a credit card that has expired or will expire, um, we make sure you don't uh, you don't you don't let, leave money on the table. Um, so this is a great example where you can on this one uh, just retry a transaction, and usually it will work. Our success rate stands at an impressive 84%. So uh, there again, we highly encourage you to start using it. It has been uh, extremely useful, both for your accountants, but also uh, some of your operation staff might be using it as well. Uh, this is a great one, we, uh, we love it. Uh, so yeah, that, that's pretty much it for the Payment Action Center. I'll do a quick, um, quick look in the chat to see if we have uh, any questions. Um, we have questions answered. Um, thanks to our colleague Sam, we have a couple, a couple answers here. Okay, so most questions have been uh, have been answered in the chat. So thank you very much, Sam. Uh, one thing I want to show you show you all here is our help help center uh, available at help.amelia.com. Also available in our footer on the website. Uh, this is the journal entries page, for example, but you have, imagine you have a page for every single feature of our platform where you get really detailed uh, information on how to use it, how it works, what's behind the feature, uh, along with detailed uh, explanation. So uh, this has proven useful for a lot of our users and should uh, prove useful to you as well. Just a little reminder that our help center is here for you. Okay. Thank you, Max. So that was the intro to our accounting solution. So please go check out the journal entries feature. We've been talking lots about it, so we're super excited to share it with everyone. So now I will be introducing you to our access management solution, and we will also meet two new of our integrations. Okay, so when we talk about access management, we're really talking about who's allowed into what and when. So the ultimate goal is honestly just securing your organization. So Today, we're gonna to talk a little bit more on that while describing the benefits of using the solution, and then we'll wrap it up by introducing two new integrations. So before we start, we have to understand the difference between these two terms. So we will be hearing the terms access management and access control quite often in the remainder of the presentation. So honestly, they're like a dynamic duo that keeps the organization's resources safe and sound, and we'll break it down into simpler terms. So access management is about strategically managing how people get to stuff like resources, facilities, et cetera. So it's like having a plan to ensure that the right people have access to the right things. So access control, on the other hand, is the power within access management. So it's about putting measures and mechanisms in place to control and restrict certain accesses. So we use things like locks, keys, authentication methods like passwords to keep everything in check. So by understanding the difference between the two, we can create a safe and controlled environment and it protects your organization while making sure that the right people get to do their thing. So if you have to remember one thing, remember that access management is the overall strategy and access control is the tools and techniques to enforce that strategy. So access management strategy to protect overall, Access control is more of like the physical barrier. So working together creates the perfect way to keep your organization safe and secure. So here we have a little refresher on our existing access management feature. So this already with, lives within SmartRec. This is nothing new. So we see here all the types of, uh, all the access types that are linked to a participant's Amelia account, as well as the information that can be found in the access point report. So Max just talked about a huge list of reports earlier. Those were financial reports, but as you all know, there's still a huge selection of other reports as well, including this access point report. So we won't be spending too much time going over this because this is nothing new, but please be sure to check out the extremely detailed articles in the Help Center. Um, but a refresher is always good. So we'll continue on now. Okay, so what exactly is in it for you? So the main, the three main benefits of access control and access management is self-serve entry and the benefits that come with that, security, very, very extremely important, usually everyone's top priority, and of course, automation and the benefits that come with that. So we'll start with self-serve entry. So it really is a game changer for front desk staff because it really streamlines operations and enhances efficiencies, making everything smoother overall. 
So first and foremost, time saving. So it reduces the amount of time that front desk has to spend on manual check-ins. So instead of handling each visitor individually, staff members can devote their attention to other responsibilities. Uh, minimize wait time. So it generally expedites the check-in process. So it reduces wait times at the front desk. So visitors can quickly scan their membership card to gain an entry. And then of course that eliminates need for staff intervention unless completely necessary. And because of that minimized wait time, it, it overall it enhances um, visitor experience. So that means that they have the sense of independence. They like have independence, they have convenience, they can do things on their own time, which eventually leads to higher visitor satisfaction and an overall positive perception of your organization. So then we'll talk about security. So first and foremost, protecting people is the goal for access control. So it's protecting your staff, it's protecting the families, it's everyone who is within your organization. So measures like locks, security gates, key card systems are there to make sure that only the right people get into restricted areas. So it's all about keeping everyone in the community safe and making sure that no unauthorized folks can cause any trouble. So this ties into regular regulating visitor access. So as you all know, you receive all kinds of visitors, whether, whether it's volunteers, parents, or other partners. So implementing access control measures, sorry, implementing access um, allows the organizations to monitor and regulate who has access to your facilities. So this also enables you to keep track of who enters the premises. You can maintain visitor records, and then you can also supervise certain visitors if and when necessary. So we do have one use case example for this specific uh, situation here. So a client of ours is a Canadian community center, and they're located in an area of a city where parents and staff didn't necessarily feel comfortable having kids coming in and out of the facilities on their own. So it was a part of downtown that they didn't really want the kids to be left unattended, and it obviously led to a few other concerns considering where exactly this community center was placed. So their previous access control system worked as a turnstile where the access was right at the front desk, meaning that anyone could essentially walk into the building from the street. So um, this was a concern not only for the children attending the community center, but also for the staff. So with one of our integrations, which I'm getting to shortly, um, you can actually install access at the exterior of the building, meaning that your access is granted from the outdoors and only members can enter your building as a whole. So this is one specific use case that our client was extremely relieved and happy to, to hear of. Um, it just adds that extra layer of security if ever this is a concern for you for any possible reason. Um, another thing to discuss here, it does prevent theft and vandalism. So by controlling who can go where, um, it lowers the chances of theft, break-ins, vandalism. It essentially just stops people from being where they shouldn't be. And again, that ties back into the safety and security component as well. And last but not least, um, a lot of your community centers or facilities or whatever it may be do offer multiple purposes like meeting rooms, private offices, facilities like rental facilities, whatever it may be. Access control just makes sure that only the author authorized people make use of those spaces. So it's more than just external security. It just helps promote order within your organization as well. So next we'll talk about automation, which everything within automation ties into security and self-serve entry as well. But specifically, we'll talk about time and attendance management first. So attendance tracking is a breeze. Um, no more manually updating attendance sheet. It's all done for you. Um, resource allocation, this ties into self-serve entry. So like we said before, front desk staff can focus on tasks that require human interaction. So such as providing information, addressing personal concerns or handling specific requests rather than being tied up with just routine check-ins. So they have a lot more time on their hands. They can deal with the human interaction of what the front desk uh, employee would mo most likely prefer to be doing. Again, that ties into overall customer satisfaction as well. Last but not least, flexibility and scalability. So the automation access control system offers flexibility in managing access permissions. So this means that you can grant or revoke access to certain individuals adapting to certain changing needs. So this means you can change who's, who's allowed into a certain facility, you can grant access, and that is all done uh, automatically, but you do have that flexibility on your end as well. These systems are also incredibly scalable, which means it's easy to expand or modify access controls if you decide to add a location, a new facility, or your organization grows. So to conclude, overall, our access management solution provi provides organizations with improved security, safety, and operational efficiencies. So it offers greater control, flexibility, and peace of mind, which all in all turns into a more productive environment. Cool. 
So now we're going to introduce our two new partners. So we have Hartman Integrations and the Avigilon Alta Integration, which is formerly known as Open Path. So um, if you are interested in this, I'll mention it a couple more times for in the remainder of the presentation, but to kickstart this, you can email partnership at amelia.com to get started with either of these. Or if you do have a dedicated CSM, feel free to reach out to them as well. All right, let's introduce these integrations. So first we'll talk about Hartman. The best thing, the best way to describe the Hartman integration, it is the most natural extension of our existing access management solution. So really the only exchange happening there is the exchange between the system is to open the door. There's no AI, there's no intelligence. It's very much just an access control feature here. So think of it as a controller on a garage door and you unlock it using a remote from your car. So um, yeah, so it's whether you need to secure a single door or an entire building, they have the tools to do so. They're incredibly flexible and willing to work with it, whatever you might need in, in, in terms of access control. But one thing that is important to consider is that it's quite basic in terms of features and functionality. So what I mean by this is larger organizations might not find this robust enough, but again, this is on you to decide. It's much more for, I would, and from our perception, it's much more for smaller organizations that care about things like multi-pass deductions, things that really comes down to your activities where you need to control who can be come in based off of their activity purchases. But the main thing to remember here, it is a natural extension of our existing access management feature solution. Then the next one here, we have a Vigilant Alta. So simply put, a Vigilant Alta is a bit fancier. It has more features. It has more capabilities. So it's a complete end-to-end -end cloud based security solution that future proofs your video security and access controls with innovative capabilities and intelligent analytics. So think of it more as um, the doors in an office and you unlock with a fob. That is much more comparable technology to a Vigilant Alta compared to the Hartman integration. So this, uh, this integration is definitely for larger organizations who really care about who has access to what facilities for security purposes. And there are a lot more features available here. So one thing that is a huge differentiator is everything is reflected in real time. So activity purchases and membership purchases are linked to a Vigilant Alta, which means that that is all done automatically. So if you purchase an activity or a membership, this will automatically be updated in a Vigilant Alta and therefore their access will be granted and no need to manually update this part. So no other access management tool does this specifically and this is a huge differentiator. So the main thing to take, the main thing to take away here is that not, not every organization will necessarily need this. It's incredibly robust. It uh, has a lot more bells and whistles than Hartman integration, um, but it doesn't necessarily do things like deduct multi-passes. So that's why I use that specific example for Hartman. This one doesn't do a few of the basic things like deduct multi-passes, but it does do a lot more. So, oh, another thing. Oh, I didn't mention this yet. Another very cool feature safety related admins can lock down your entire facility directly from your smart directly from your uh, your smartphone so if you know that there's some issue happening at your facility and you're not even there you have full control over what access is what access is granted when all from your smartphone so it definitely is a lot more robust so although it's a lot more high tech and has more features it's not for everyone it depends on really what you're looking for so in this case i do recommend reading in depth the uh, help the help center articles that we do have. There's a lot more details and a lot more features we could dive into, but it really does depend on what exactly your organization is looking for. So this table here shows how they compare. So it's a checklist of basic access management features, and you can see here that Hartman actually does check more boxes than a Vigil on Alta. But like I was explaining earlier, it does not mean that one is necessarily better than the other. It purely depends on what your organization. Uh, prioritizes most. So if you're interested in learning more, there are incredibly detailed articles on both. Um, and I would, I would recommend you have a look to see what suits your organization best. Now here is where all of your resources are. So first there is a access management course on Amelia University. If you're not fully signed up for Amelia University yet, please do so. There's amazing courses there to get you all set up. So if you want to have a deep dive on the existing access management solution and a brief intro to the two integrations, go check out that course. 
Uh, second, like I mentioned before, if any of these interest you, Hartman or Vigil on Alta, I recommend reaching out to partnership at amelia.com. Or if you have a dedicated CSM, please reach out to them as well. This will be the best way to get started and we can kick you off and get you with the right contacts immediately. And our famous help center, we keep mentioning it. There is so much detail there. I think that, that is everyone's first step. And if you do these three steps, you're set for absolutely anything. So I've been seeing lots of questions come on through. I think they've been answered. And Max, here you go. Yay. Yeah, thanks, uh, Olivia. Um, yeah, so kind of a final, uh, final comment here, but we, we want to remind you that uh, every single update are posted on update.amelia.com. Uh, today, we, we did the overview of our two solutions, uh, highlighting some of the new features and whatnot. But if you want to kind of get the nitty gritty, all the details, uh, all the little changes that happen constantly in SmartRec, they're posted every month on updates.amelia.com. You'll also receive uh, in a couple of days, actually, uh, the email version of this that's also available. This is May. Uh, June is coming up pretty soon. And we do this every month, really rounding up every little thing that have been done to SmartRec. So just a, just a reminder to, uh, to check out updates.amelia.com. So um, this is it. This was the, yeah, this is our quarterly uh, product release. Uh, so you've got to discover our access management solution and our accounting solution. Um, so yeah, it was a pleasure to present this to you and we'll see you on uh, the next one this fall.